it seems to me that this is a difference of opinion about how you view win, whether it you are negative because of its Macau presence, whereas Jim seems no. to. Well, I think it this is like a Macau versus U.S. debate, at least it seemed to be on on Twitter. Jim, why are you short win? So we do not. Uh, our problem with the win story is that value investors keep basically claiming the stock is cheap. We don't think it's cheap. This is not a call on Macau, although I think Macau is problematic. I think this is a problem in alluding to a little bit what, what Josh Brown said earlier about, you know, if you're, if you're not making money when things are, are really good, uh, you've, got, you've got to question the business model. But as it relates to Win, a simple analysis would tell us Win is not supposed to make money in 2022, earnings per share. Supposed to make a couple dollars, but I think two and a half dollars in 2023. It made a little over two dollars pre-pandemic in 2019. So at eighty dollars, this is not a cheap stock. We could argue EBITDA, we could argue definitions, we could argue forecasts, and I'm not looking for a recession to be short win. But but arguably, this is not a cheap stock.